In this video, you will see how to File a claim and appeal Log in to begin Enter your username and password Select the login button On the Claimant Portal home screen, select the Correspondence main menu item. From the Correspondence screen, select the Search button to display correspondence. You may also enter search criteria to narrow your results. Correspondence regarding appealable issues display a file appeal hyperlink. Select this hyperlink. From the File Appeal screen, review the appeal information, then select the Next button. On the Reason for Appeal screen, review the address information. Enter a reason for the appeal. If needed, enter the reason your appeal is filed past the deadline in the Reason for Untimeliness panel. This panel displays if you file the appeal 15 or more days from the date you receive your monetary determination. Upload any supporting documents and indicate if an interpreter is needed. If you select Yes, a drop down displays to select your language. Select the Next button. From the Additional Representation screen, indicate if there is outside representation, then select the Add button. You are not required to have additional representation in order to proceed with your appeal. If you selected Yes, enter your representative's information, then select the Save button. Review the new representative record. You can modify or delete it, if necessary. Then select the Next button. Next, indicate if you will present a witness. You are not required to have a witness in order to proceed with your appeal. Select the Select Files button to upload the file from your local machine. Select the Upload File button. Then select the Add button. You are not required to have a witness in order to proceed with your appeal. If you selected Yes, Indicate whether you are requesting a subpoena of the witness. Your request will be reviewed by the Division of Unemployment Insurance. Requesting a subpoena does not guarantee that one will be issued. Next, enter your witness information. Review the new witness record. You can modify or delete it, if necessary. Upload any supporting documentation. Then select the Next button. If you have more than one issue eligible for appeal, you will see a multi-appeal screen. Select which issues you would like to include within your appeal. Please note, if you have a fraud issue associated with your active claim, you may not uncheck the issue on the multi-appeal screen.
Select the Next button. Select the appeal hearing appointment time from those presented. Based on the circumstances of your appeal, you may not be able to schedule your hearing during the filing process. The hearing will be scheduled by the Lower Appeals Unit of the Division of Unemployment Insurance, and you will receive a notice of the hearing schedule at a later date. Select the Next button. From the Review Information and File Appeal screen, review the appeal information. If you need to make any changes, select the Edit button. Select the checkbox confirming the information is accurate. Select the Next button. On the Confirmation screen, review the claimant information. Note your appeal number. To print the appeal for your records, select the Print button. Then select the Finish button. Your appeal is now filed with the Division of Unemployment Insurance. You will receive a confirmation in your portal inbox. This completes the video. This has been a general overview of how to file an appeal in Beacon.